Hello dudes and dudettes. So let's continue with our problem sessions here. And this is an interesting problem that we have here because it involves not only the calculation of the composite figure made out of lines, the center of the composite figure made out of lines, but also uh, adds a little bit of uh, knowledge, I mean application of direct knowledge because this is not only asking for the centroid or it's not asking for the centroid even directly but it says that if the string is, at, is tied to a, a, the slender bar at A so if I add a string here and then allow this bar to hang freely uh, it's going to form an angle between this line and the vertical of course because remember we said if you put a here and this is going to try to somehow look for equilibrium and how this is going to look for equilibrium well this is going to be looking for equilibrium and some place maybe if this is the vertical here and I hang it there it's going to look for equilibrium and this line is going to pass through the centroid so basically what I have to do first is find the centroid and once I find the centroid I can find those lines and this is what we are going to do with this problem first locate the center of the material of the element and this is a problem that is a composite figure problem and I have three actually three figures uh, the first thing that I have to do is set up my axis of reference this is Y and this is X here and then I select my figures I say this is figure one this is figure two and this is figure three remember our equations are uh, our x bar is the integral of x i l i divided by the integral of l i or summation in this case from i equal 1 to n of x i l i divided by the summation from i equal 1 to n of l i and our y bar is going to be the integral or the summation from i equal 1 to n of y i l i divided by the summation of l i also from i equal 1 to n. They compose it in different figures and basically calculate the weighted average of the centroid. So we build our table, build up our table, figure 1, figure, length, and the units are inches in this case and then we have our x in inches and our y in inches and then we have li xi and li yi which correspond to these ones and at the end we're going to add them up divide by the total length and that will give us the location of the center which is not what the problem is asking us to do but it's an intermediate step that we have to solve in order to come with the answer that the problem is or to the question that the problem is asking us so let's start with this and I say my first uh, figure is figure one and is this line here this line here the length is given is eight well the center of that one is exactly there at the center and the center of this is at the center also so eight in X is gonna be four and in y is 0 because it's exactly over the x-axis and I multiply this times this is 32 and this times this is 0. There you go, first figure done. Second figure, second figure is this one, like that. And I know this is 8 and I know this is 8 also because this is 4 and this is 4 so this is going to be 8 in height also. And the length is the hypotenuse of this right triangle square root of 8 squared plus 8 squared. Location. Location, location, location. That's what the Rialto says. Location of this, of this centroid for this figure is at the center. So it's going to be 4 here and at the same time it's going to be also 4 in the vertical one because it's, if it's at the center in the hypotenuse, it's at the center in the horizontal and it's at the center in the vertical. This is going to be this times this is 45.256 and same thing here because it's the same multiplication, 45.256. Uh, 
And last but not least, our figure number three. And our figure number three is this figure here. Right there. And my centroid is going to be here. Now remember, we already showed this in a previous example, but even if you don't remember, remember you have a book. And in the part of the book, in the table of your book, and in the, the back of the books, most of the books, you have this shape. And it says that the center is located at 2R divided by pi from this line. Do not confuse this with this. This is circular areas. This is semi semicircle arch. So it's different. This is the one that you have to use if you use lines. This is the one that you have to use if you use areas. So once again, our distance is going to be from here to here is going to be 2r divided by pi. That's the distance. But my total distance is from here. So I don't know what I'm talking about that if I haven't calculated the length, but it doesn't matter. So this is going to be 8 plus this distance. 2r divided by pi. i is 4. 2 times 4 divided by pi. That's whatever we have to put there, 10.546. What is the length? Well, the length of that is pi times r, because it's just a half an arc, pi times r. And pi, uh, r is 4, so this is going to be 4 pi, which is equal 12.566. This value here I didn't copy, but it's 11.314. And once we have this, we need the y-coordinate also. Well, the y-coordinate, this is symmetric, right? So it has to be at the center. In x, yes, it's this place. But in, in y, because this is symmetric, I think that all of you can see that this is going to be at 4. Multiply this times this, 132.52. And multiply this times this, and it's 95. Eh, I mean, no, it's not. Yeah, 50.264. Summation, summation, 209.776, 95.52, and summation, 31.88. Now, with these values, we can calculate that x bar, and our x bar is going to be So if I want to calculate my x bar, my x bar is going to be 209.776 divided by 31.88, and that value is 6.58 inches, and y bar is going to be 95.52 divided by 31.88, and that is uh, 2.996 inches. Now, we calculated the centroid, but this is not what the problem is asking us to do. What the problem is asking us to do is calculate the angle that when I hang this from the vertical line, uh, it's gonna it's gonna make uh, it's gonna make that with the vertical line in equilibrium. So that's what I have to do. How do we do that? Well, let's locate this centroid first at all. My centroid is going to be 6.58, let's say somewhere around here, and 2.96. So the centroid is going to be somewhere around there. That's the centroid. And I know this distance, this distance from here to here, because that's my x bar, 6.58. And this distance here, I know it also because it's 2.996. Now, if you remember the, the centroid, basically, one of the ways of determining a centroid is I'm just going to hang this from somewhere, and it's going to look for equilibrium with the vertical line. And the vertical line is going to pass through the centroid. So basically, if this is my vertical line and this is the centroid, the angle that the problem is asking me is the angle of this AB with the vertical. So this angle here... Let's say that angle is, I don't know, beta. That one. And this angle alpha, I can calculate that angle alpha 
easy because I have this and I have this. And I also can know the total angle between these two bars because it's defined by this distance and this distance. Let's say that angle is theta. So my angle theta, which is this, is going to be inverse tangent of 45, I uh, 8 divided by 8, so that angle is tangent negative 1 of 8 divided by 8, that means it's 45 degrees, that angle. And my angle alpha is this, so alpha is the inverse tangent of 2.996 divided by 6.58 divided by this one 6.58 and that angle is 24.48 degrees but the one that I'm looking for actually is this one this angle and that angle is going to be theta minus alpha so my angle beta which is the angle that this line is going to form with the vertical is theta minus alpha or 45 degrees minus 24.48 degrees that means that beta is going to be equal to 20.52 degrees and that's the answer to the question that the problem was asking us so once again i hope that you enjoy this problem this is a problem that is simple but involves concepts which are important and i'll see you in the next video lectures guys have a good day